we're back. We're going to take these plants that the wife bought. They're flowers that are going to bloom outside. These purple ones are called hyacinth. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. The yellow ones are daffodils. Now in this pot where the daffodils are, there's more than one plant. So when we pull them out, if we can, we'll try and separate them. If we can do it without ruining the roots. So we put some of our potting mix. This is not working. Good thing I don't have to clean up in here after. Ha <laughs> I do. I'll have to upset the wife, then I'll have to clean up in here. <laughs> I'll be in the doghouse again. Okay, you want to come in here and do a close-up on this while I... This is close. Try and pull these plants apart. This is already close here. Uh, I'm trying to separate them without doing any root damage. Now, I have one plant. I want to leave as much dirt as I can on it, but I want to separate the roots at the bottom because the roots right now are all bound together. I want to separate them so they can grow in different directions. Okay, put this one in here. And get some more dirt. <clears throat> I call it dirt, but it's potting soil. Okay, now I'm going to lift up. There we go. One daffodil in one pot. The one bulb of daffodil has one, two, three, three blooms on it so far and it'll grow more. Now, now I'm gonna show you about this hyacinth. Hyacinth. As you can see, very root bound. And I'm going to try and separate those, but I got to get some dirt in my pot first. Oh, there's two pots here. I wonder why. Let's see. See why I buy such a big bag of potting soil? It's because I spill as much as I use. This bag of potting soil cost us $35 which would be 1300 pesos not cheap but if you don't use good soil you don't have good results you can dig the soil out of the garden but might not have the proper nutrients for the proper plants so Potting soil is a little better for them. Okay. No rocket science here. You just spread the roots on, put the bulb in, and put dirt around it. If you can't remember what these plants are, you can take the label, stick it in a dirt in the side of the plant that way when your friends come over and say oh what's that beautiful I'm not saying that right I know I'm not but I'm 
I planted some of those once out in a garden and then I let the garden grow up on the lawn and I kept mowing it every year and for years later they kept coming up and growing in the lawn. I'd mow around them and enjoy the flowers for the summer. Now this one is similar to the purple one only it's pink. So they do come in different colors. The roots are growing right out of the bottom of this pot. So you got to be careful when you pull it out. You don't tear all the roots off. Cut open the pots. We get them out. See how the roots are all bound up. That's you got to as gentle as you can spread those roots out so they have a chance to spread out through the dirt you're planting them in. They don't stay all root bound and choke. The roots choke out and then the plant can't grow. Okay, the wife does not like to plant these plants in her flower bed outside because from different times in the summer she'd like to pick these up and move them here and there to have color everywhere in her yard. So she plants them in pots. That way she can move the pots around as she wishes. So that's kind of a, one of the benefits of adding Put them in pots or not in a permanent spot then. <laughs>